Hey, welcome back to Ones Upon a Game. This is Kevin Kitchens, and I'm continuing my playthrough of Traveler, the customizable card game. Uh, we left off in turn... Uh, this is turn five. We are currently sitting on 11 of our needed 20 points. We have... We are not committed to any of the contracts at the moment. And we completed, like I said, turn four. And so we are in the ready phase of turn five. So the first thing I will do is ready these two cards. We have no wounds to heal, no damage to the ship to try to, to, try to repair. And then we will draw up, we'll drop our hand of cards to seven. Uh, if I want to get rid of any of these, and I think I want to keep these. So two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Okay. Fragmentation grenade, which is good for attack. Uh, missile barbette, which is good for attack. Come from the ship. Ghana Dursi Durgishwi. Since he's fictional, I don't have to worry about ruining his name, but uh, he's a human and he comes with a admin. An expert admin skill. Uh, glancing shot, we got a second copy of. Plus two on our defense until the end of the action. So that's why events can be played different times in different phases. Uh, but it's only good until the end of the action that you play it in. So uh, action phase, let's see, surgical intervention. Restores three, moves a target from the discard pile. This is the one we had before, so I can Hopefully get somebody out of this discard pile. Uh, my pilot. Yes. So I have to have uh, someone with medical skill. And I do. And I, uh, he has to be expert, which he is. So we'll be able to do that. But we can only do it during the action phase, which fortunately is just after the procurement phase. So it'll be around for us. And then another glancing shot. And then again, the WAP advisors, which helps us. So. Uh, the one good thing that did happen is the refugee resettlement came back into play, which we had just um, resolved that contract, and uh, uh, then had to shuffle the deck, and so it came back up. So that's the way it works, but that's fine. So we're going to probably go for that one again because it got us four points. All right. So we're now in the adventure phase, so we will draw... First, a blind or a unknown adventure card, uh, excuse me, conflict card. And this one is two, this one needs one, this one is two, this one is one. So it's obviously going to go right there. And then I get to look at the one I want, at this one, excuse me, and see what it is. So this is uh, Myriad Difficulties, where I get rid of three capability and or skill tokens. So better knowing what you know. I'm going to take it and replace Myriad Difficulties with Myriad Difficulties. And yeah, we'll just throw that on there. Into the adventure phase. Go to the procurement phase. See if there's anything here I want to buy and put into play. Let's see. Um, yeah, that, would, that heroic action would happen in the reaction phase. So the only thing I've got here are these three, these three cards that I could possibly play. So I'm going to slide those over. I'm going to go ahead and try to get, uh, we'll go ahead and put the Missile Barbette in play. It's free, so it's zero cost. Oh, and this Missile Barbette. Oh, we can't have that because we've already got one. So we will hang on to that. Um, so I will just, this is only good for payment because it's only doing damage on a on a character control back captain, so doesn't do any good. So we'll put him out. He's he's for two, and I'll just pay those two cards for his cost. So now we'll get an admin skill token when that comes out. So that is all I'm going to do for procurement. So now we'll move on to the action phase, and I believe I will have uh, my medic play the his heroic 
uh, surgical intervention. So what happens is he has to exhaust and I have to pay zero, it's a zero cost card. And because he exhausts these experts, I can move a target uh, character from my discard pile into my hand or into play. So that is very helpful. So we're going to rifle through the discards and pull out Jim Thorne. And Jim Thorne is gonna come into play and we have to pay the regular cost, so that's a two. And I think that I'm gonna go ahead and play cards from the, uh, I'm gonna draw. So I need two, that's one, module hold, and that is two, Crazy Eddie's Discount Depot. So we do now have some actions that can be played. So um, uh, as a reaction, during the resolution phase, I can exhaust him, spin two, and increase my, uh, uh, attack and defense uh, by one or and two or plus two or defense plus two excuse me now the difference here is I can pay less do it in advance or I can pay more and do it when I need it so it's a gamble but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that and not spend anything on it so um, that's silly I could have done that during the adventure phase I could have used her um, yep, still no actions to play. So I'm gonna try to move a little quicker here since I've kind of gone over the rules previously. Um, right, so that's the action phase, now it's the resource phase. So it's time to collect, and we're gonna collect a lot more now. All right, so there's all our skill and capability tokens for this round. So that is, now we have a resource phase, so we have other actions here. So I can remove a token from a target captain's resource pool, so that doesn't do me any good. Uh, but I may need his, his admin skill. All right, I can add a basic capability token uh, to resolve a conflict. And I think I will do that again, so I'm gonna exhaust this card. I'm going to pay one. And I'll spend one of my glancing shots to pay for that. And I'm going to go ahead and risk it again. Taking the uh, passenger icon. See if that gets me. Resource phase. This allows me to add a um, another passenger cargo. And it costs me two. And I am going to change my mind here. I'm going to do this and get the passenger cargo. So I'm going to take this guy out. And I am going to do him, but I'm going to do him with a, we'll pick a combat token for him, capability, in case we get that. So here I'm going to spend two, exhaust that, and put this either or token on him. No, oh, that gets, this one goes to the pool. So this one just goes into the general pool. This one goes on this card. It can only be spent um, to resolve a conflict. So I gotta pay two. So I don't wanna spend those cards. So I'll just spend these directly, and that is two. And there's Bruce Brosnan again. All right, so that is the resource phase. Now we're gonna resolve our action. You know what I didn't do? I messed up. Do, do, do. I forgot to travel to that location. So since I had already kind of stated I was going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do that. In the game, you can be undeclared, which means you don't go after any of these. But I did. It's on the recording. Say I was going to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and go there. And I'm going to pay three. I'm going to penalize myself and force myself to go from here. So one, two, three. Okay, so I should have done that back in the adventure phase, but uh, now I'm there. So now we're gonna resolve this. So the first thing we do is reveal the conflicts we're facing. All right, so we have unexpected booking, all right, which needs a passenger icon, which we actually did get one. 
an extra one, and wanted return a character you control, I control to the owner's hand, which would be me. So we can resolve both of these, which is really, really good. So we're gonna resolve an expected booking first. We will pay one of our either or tokens. An expected booking comes out. And then I'm going to return a character I control to my owner's hand. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out because he's less beneficial to me. And it comes back to my hand. And we'll slide him over for neatness. This comes off. And finally, we're going to resolve refugee resettlement again. And we will resolve that by paying this either or token. And that gets us. I think it's just two victory points. And then we have the subplot, which allows us to use the uh, expert medical skill to get two more, two more victory points. So expert medical skill goes away. Do that. And now we are going to add four more victory points. And I'm going to give myself a five, take away a one. And that currently puts us at 15, 16 points, no, 15 points. Okay, so we're from 11 to 4, 11 plus 4 is 15. I can do math. That's good that way. All right, so then we are done with the resolution phase. We reveal a new mission contract. It is transshipping. It's going to require two cargo. Oh, look at that. We've got the admin skill too, so that's good. It's going to be worth three victory points, four with the admin skill. And then we will put a uh, uh, conflict card out on that. Discard all our tokens. And that is the end of turn five. Moving right into turn six. We're going to be a little faster again. Uh, this token had to go away from last turn. All right, so we ready all our exhausted cards. No wounds to heal, no damage to... We can move these if we want to. And I don't want I don't want to. He's fine with the with having that because we haven't really had to use that yet, so I'm not gonna waste time on that. And we're gonna drop our hand. We had two cards, and then we took him back into our hand, so we're gonna draw four. One, two, three. Now we have the adventure phase. So again, you can take two, two conflicts, complications. We'll throw that on there first. I get to look at one, and this says if we have, uh, we can either pay medical or um, psionics to get uh, to clear that one. And this guy, I just got Siobhan as a duplicate. But this guy I got, nope. Nope, 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 nope. He's science, so he wouldn't give me psionics. And his action phase doesn't help me either. But he does gain me some more admin. So I could put him out, and I could pay one and get admin to the end of the round. All right, so. Anyway. Uh, I gotta decide where to put this guy, and, you know, I don't think I'm gonna need the medical skill, so I'm gonna go and throw it on here, because I can use the medical skill to get this taken care of. So I think I can get four points out of that one, so that is where I'm gonna declare again. And that one only cost me one. So in this case, I'm gonna use Siobhan, since I already have her in play, and that'll pay for it. Okay, and now we are going to go to the procurement phase. Are there any cards I want to procure to get out of my hand? I don't think so. Ah! Uh, no, there is. I could procure, I could procure him, but I only need I only need trained uh, admin to get that. So I'm going to put George out. 
And he's going to cost me two to come into play. And I will pay the two with lost and found. And that'll put him in play. All right, and that is the only procurement I want to do right now. There is a limit on the number of crew that I can have in play. And that is four based on the ship card. And you can see I currently have four in play. Action phase. So here on the action phase here, I'm going to pay one to gain, uh, to gain that token, that skill till the end of the round. And I'm gonna go ahead and pay with glancing shot. Discard that. And you don't have to, it's kind of weird how you mark these. Um, I am just going to go and put that token on there. So I have it because it's not technically the uh, resource phase yet. So that's fine. So other actions I want to take maybe. Um, no. No. To the resource phase. Gonna just collect all the tokens real quick. Now we get science. So there are all those. I know I need the two cargo for that, and I need the medical for there, and I need the admin for the bonus, and I don't know what that other card is. And once again, silly me, I could have looked at it, and I keep forgetting to do that. So, pretty stupid. So, um, so here we are again here, and I will go ahead and do this. I am going to, once again, add a basic capability. This time I'm going to take a cargo for one. And I will hang on to that one. Oh, I'm gonna hang on to that one too, because it'll allow me to use the, to add one I might need. As we go, so I'm going to pay one with this, and that's two, so I've repaid with Buddy. Hey, Buddy. All right, and then also here I'm going to exhaust it and pay two to add a a cargo combo. So I have to pay two, and that's two. Resource phase complete. Resolution phase. So we got jump phobia, which we know. And we now have. We have to defeat an enemy ship again. So let's take these one at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out with our medical token. That one's resolved. And now we gotta fight the ship. It has one combat, one defense, and one hull. All right, so during the resolution phase, I can pay two and get one attack and two defense here. The one attack would not destroy the ship, so I would not defeat it. I would have defense against him, but I can do that and get three. Oh, well, that's either or. Never mind. My bad. So that's either or. And um, we can do both. So it's good news. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do him to give us, we'll pay two to get us plus three attack. And we'll pay two here. One. And two. Okay, so that's paid. So we got plus three plus three attack, and we'll spend him to get our plus two defense. Last time we had a armor, we could, a uh, hull plating, we could jettison. So we have to play two and exhaust him to give us two defense. So we need to play two defense, or two money, and we get one, and we get two. So you see the, the deck here is depleting pretty rapidly. So you gotta be careful of spinning your cards, but I think we're in good shape right now uh, to finish this off. So, resolve the attack. 
uh, will be the attacker, so we'll hit him first. So we've hit with uh, three attack, which gets through him, destroys him. Uh, he attacks us with one, and our defense takes care of that just fine. So we defeated him. So he comes out. Now, one thing that I screwed up on, and I should have done two rounds in a row, is I could have gained an extra victory point after resolving the subplot on a mission that involves a uh, passenger. And we did that two, turn, two turns in a row. Uh, last turn and the last turn of the last, the previous turn in this video and the last turn of the last video. So I did not do that. I could have won right here, but I screwed up. So, all right. So defeat this, pay two cargo. Easy peasy right here. Yeah, and then resolve the subplot by paying a by paying a learned uh, admin, and I have learned admin oh, right here on him somewhere. There we go. Pay that learned admin, and we defeat this for four more points. All right, so now we get our four points. Take another five. Five cash and a one for change, if I can get to it. All right, so we are now should be at 19, and we are at nine and 10 is 19. All right, put out a new, put out a new mission, a contract. We got a trans shipping. So we just finished, so there's multiples. Put out the first conflict, and then Discard all our tokens. And proceed to the next turn. So I'm going to end this here. Only because um, I think you see how the game goes. We're now uh, pretty assured of winning. Because uh, I'll probably take the trans shipping again. It is possible uh, that it wouldn't, wouldn't work. I could also take the Zidani Science Expedition. Uh, made a few errors, not in rules that I'm aware of, but errors uh, in terms of uh, oversights in what cards I played. I forgot to peek at uh, attached conflicts, and I forgot to take two extra bonus victory points there, which I could have taken very easily, um, which would have been right now at 21. So uh, just for the sake of keeping the video short, uh, I think you see how it plays, um, and I think I could safely say I won, or you can say I lost. I hope you've enjoyed this. It is a pretty cool game. Traveler, the customizable card game, is pretty fun. I uh, I think I like it more than I thought I would. Uh, I was a little worried about the solo, but the solo actually plays pretty fun. There's five missions you can play, and someone I saw today on BGG or excuse me, no, on BGG on the Traveler customizable, customizable Card Game Facebook group posted some alternate rules for playing solo, more of an Automa style. So I can't wait to look into that. You got different ships. You got uh, you get the deck construction if you're into that. Um, you got uh, all sorts of different options. So I think it's pretty cool. Pretty fun little game. So. Um, check it out. It's by Horizon Games. And uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Um, click the alarm button, which will inform you when I post new videos. And uh, leave your comments below. Love to hear what you think of it. And if you get it, let me know. Thank you again so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.